So part of this was that Jesus was building his movement. You and I need to be committed to small group formation so that the movement goes beyond us and is not limited to us. Jesus was building for the long run beyond himself. And since you and I are called to be like Jesus, huh? how about that? Are we called to be like Jesus? If we're called to be like Jesus, then we got to think like Jesus. Um, I was blessed years ago to go to the Holy Land. And um, I, I went to the city of, of Nazareth. And, and, and there, is, there, are, there are ruins there. And one of the ruins they have identified as the, the home of Peter's mother-in-law. And, and, and you are able not to go in that particular place, but you, there is a uh, uh, kind of a plexiglass, a glass that's over it. And you can look down in that room uh, where they were. And, and the guide said to us, just can you imagine that this was where Jesus and the disciples actually planned the whole movement right here, right here. This is where they did it. I said to myself, oh, my God. The word that struck me was not so much it was right here, but the word that really struck me, they planned the whole movement. And some of us don't even think about it that way. That Jesus had a plan. And one of his plans was to gather others around him, pour himself into them, and then trust them with the future of the church. And we're here today because Jesus had a plan.